what if one of his multiples is his girlfriend? Because from what I see of who you're aware of spiritually, it's either people who are in your neighborhood, people you've been around uh, during the day, and somebody wants to go back and look at what you went through with them and just keep something going. It's one person doing it, you know, the superpower. It's not God doing it that way. Or if you're in heaven, the people who are with you in heaven were part of either your familial group or the group of religious people uh, in your area. But they're never, you know, as stars in heaven, as lights in heaven, we all understand our own space and condensing our space and remaining as tight and compact and um, um, singular, you know, for good breathing, as individual as possible, because that's the highest. You get, you get to go higher that way. Um, but say what's at him is, you know, his girlfriend, single white female, fatal attraction, whatever it is, and say that her only wish is that I was dead. So in her having him take my child completely, without the course, just with him getting, them getting at her and having her say that's what she wants, um, you know, complete custody and before the courts decide or whether the courts decide or influencing the court's decision. So she's pretty much, uh, mentally killed me in her mind, right? I know there's no one I'm talking to except myself and my child and just the world in case somebody else is going through this. But um, what that person has become, who that is, and everything that I wondered about them at the beginning, because they were larger than life, and they have just had so much right to walk around and do what they want here, and um, so much access to so many people. And everybody has known it. I mean, I've been aware of it for all of these years at some level. And I guess what's happening is more and more uh, of the people who have infiltrated me or of people I come in contact with in any manner of ways, even um, who are just nearby me in heaven or uh, far away, um, the understanding is finally there that this is not okay. Because, you know, she doesn't think I only need the car because if she puts my child on a bus by taking her and having her stay at the apartment and him get up and go to work and leave her there and she can get up and get her own breakfast and be alone in an apartment until she goes to school and get herself out to the bus. I mean, why can't she? Other 14-year-olds have to do that. And she can get on the bus and go to school and um, come home on the bus and go back to the apartment. She doesn't need to come to see you or have you come to pick her up, even if you're off watching your mother, spending time with your mother in her senior years and helping her um, do better and have a higher value to life. Just because you're here, you don't need to come and get her and you don't need that car. That has, is no member of our family nuclear or extended. That is a fatal attraction. 